I like watching all different kinds of stuff. I like watching comedy, I like watching drama, I like watching action stuff. So it's like one of those things that if it keeps you in your seat and you want to see the next thing, then it's successful, you know? I really enjoy meeting different directors and seeing their different styles. The really good directors, you see the footage and you know. TV directors, because they are journeymen and they are journey women and they have to like figure out how their vision sort of fits into the show. My job is just maintaining what the feeling um, of the show is. They're trusting me to give the showrunner the best version of the show that they shot. There was a documentary editor, Nancy Baker. Watching her as a doc editor, I saw how she solved problems. So she would be able to figure out what the narration you needed to connect to point A to point B. And then I worked with um, Craig McKay, who cut Silence of the Lambs, along, uh, amongst many other films. And he was somebody who was like, he thought about the cut, he made a cut, and then he moved on. There's no indecision about what he did. He thought about it, and then that's what he did. So on a pilot, you get anywhere from four to six hours a daily so that's a lot of material and so what I do is I always look at everything and then just start cutting things as fast as possible there's no belaboring stuff you just make a decision and then you move on because there's just no time the action stuff is fun because you know you're out in LA and that's like fun you know you get to see a little bit of um, you're like oh I, re I know where that is in Toluca Lake or you're like oh I know where that li liquor store is in Hollywood and the pilot the best thing about that was when they shut down Hollywood Boulevard I haven't seen that on a show for for a while so that was super exciting for me it was I was like oh my god they shut down Hollywood Boulevard the traffic must have been a nightmare so that was fun to cut that because you got to see the scope of LA sir you need to put down the you bat hide from me I will go into the wardrobe through the looking glass so sir, what do we do de-escalate the situation <laughs> sir how about you tell me what the problem is the unicorn He's laughing at me! Okay, great. We can help you with that. We just need you to get down off the car. Oh, you're trying to trick me. No. You don't want me to find him. Sir, I can handle unicorns, all right? This is what we train for. I just need you to get off the car and give me a description so we can find him. They have those body cams, and they're actually the real body cams that the LAPD uses. And so when we first got them, I was like, I have never seen a camera this wide angle. And they can actually see what they had shot with the body cam. So I got the first days in and I was like, you guys have to clear everything. It's like a 270 degree angle camera. You can see like behind the person. It's the camera's so wide angle. And so after that, they realized they had to clear everybody offset. Anybody in front of that um, person has to like move out of the way. It was fun to cut the show because you have these um, kind of serious life moments and then you have the, uh, them kind of busting their, each other's chops. And that is actually not that hard to cut. All the actors are really good. They like each other. So that stuff is kind of, I mean, I don't want to say it cuts itself, but it kind of cuts itself. <laughs> you know, when people really like each other, you can see that on screen. And so they're like a pleasure to cut. A TV is a train that cannot stop. That thing has to keep on moving from prep to production to um, post. It's not one episode. It's 10 episodes, 13, 20. As an editor, you just have to be, while you're finishing up one episode, um, the next one is starting. I love storytelling. It doesn't matter um, what form I do it in. That's what I love about editing is that, you know, I get to tell stories to people. And I love it when people watch stuff and they're like, ah, I love it. You know, I, I really like this actor. I really love this episode. And that makes me happy.